So I'm just dribbling the seam. Now I am actually doing it the correct way. Instead of just the side of the, the, the creature, I'm, I'm you know, fishing it through the top where it's supposed to go. And this, you can see it's a bitch just to get in and getting it out was, as you saw, uh, didn't work so well. Um, so now this time, the thing is supposed to live there. It's really not supposed to come back out because it's a larger creature than the opening is. So it had to be lubed up and shoved in there. I figured that there's going to be cameras in there and they're probably on a longer shot or something. Maybe, I don't know if there's going to be, well, there'll be a band camera. Are we going to be on the back of one of these? Never. I don't think so. Because I'll just put it on the parts. I think these parts are the, uh, the vacuum on pedals that you pulled. Yeah. There are some tentacle parts that are being made. Garth is again displaying Xander's design, I'm sorry, Alex's design for the creature. Um, and we're just discussing how this thing's working. It's working out pretty well. It's again Dave Pinnacus and Paul starting to mount this um, creature onto a, what is a temporary frame until we get it on set. This whole thing had to be constructed before we could actually hoist it up onto the roof of, of the set, uh, which was an enormous, enormous uh, pain in the ass. So you can see this sort of like really cool black hole vortexy wireframe um, that's funneling down into the head. You know, Matt's starting to put up all the pedals. But up on the ceiling, um, he'll be coming along the ceiling, right? Uh, we'll have a ceiling section that will be permanently mounted to him up front. So the ceiling's actually sliding with him as he goes forward. But up front, we want like four tentacles, right, that we could pull over with monofilament, and then he will catch up to it, and then we'll do it again. Right? So it looks like he's pulling himself along with these and then with the arms, right? Um, so these are a good length and all, four of them. Roughly, I don't know how many we have. The ones that up on the other side. Yeah, they should get fatter on one end. Does it matter what end? I got no idea. I thought the uh, I thought this was the end where the uh, my film that was watching. Or yeah, that attack. sounds good. That's a good guess, man. <laughs> Mark made it. So. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Or is this where the bolts into the bolts into the ceiling? I guess this is the bolt side. Yeah, the bolt side. Sorry, or, this is the uh, monofilament side. Bolt it up on the other side, the, uh, the, the bolt up side, side. All right. Is long here? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh. All right. Figure out what side, and then yeah, fat on one side, going down to nothing. Fat on the other side. Grab, what two more at least? Yeah. Might as well use them if we got them. Yeah, yeah. So that's the idea up there. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I'll oh, doing that kind of stuff with it. Okay. You know. You can always do it afterwards, I guess, right? Yeah. These tentacles are a huge part of the design element that Alec wanted to uh, to to do in, in in the film, but they were all uh, not, nothing was sculpted in mold; it was all direct fabrication. So basically, we had an army of people making all these tentacles and 
thicknesses, uh, different thicknesses. You know, some had lights, some didn't, some worked uh, as far as like moved, some were just stagnant. So we're basically dressing the whole black hole kind of vortex frame of this chandelier creature, which I nicknamed, uh, with, these, with these tentacles. There's me bossing Matt around, which is shit rolls downhill. No, actually, Matt's doing a great job of, uh, we're trying to seam these edges with thin pieces of clear silicone. Uh, so that's the creature after I painted it, and it, it looks pretty badass, you know, if you, if, once you know what it is, and then a good paint job can make something that's like really, um, you know, kind of... This, this is before the paint, this is right? Hey, don't look at me about the editing, that's back and forth, yeah. Well, that, the arms it, there, oh, minus the arms, there you go. Yeah, let's go ahead. So this is Matt putting the arms together with silicone uh, spines and all these fingers and as much detail as we can cram into this thing. You can see there's like stuff on the inside that's where it's clear. It's being backlit right there. So you can see all these like guts that are going through. So I have to airbrush this entire creature uh, from the floor up and try to keep it still very um, transparent, um, translucent so that light can, can be shown through it. Um, it was fun. I mean, this was a cool project. Some of the stuff kind of kept falling apart. Those silicone patch, you know, patches for the joints. There was no structure inside of it, no fabric or anything. So silicone on its own doesn't have a very high tear strength when it's so thin. So now everybody's pitching in, basically trying to get this thing finished. Um, it's been painted. Now all the parts are um, going to be assembled um, temporarily, basically, um, until we actually get it moved and finally put it on the set so that it can be uh, puppeteered externally.